So when you think about mass, what do you actually think about? One needs to be very cautious in these scenarios. Classically, mass are used for many things um, out there. And to be, to be quite honest with you, there are people who are walking about now with a common cold, the people who have influenza, do we rush to wear masks? and for this particular circumstance. What makes the, the situation of coronavirus um, different to this particular scenario? Now, when we think about a mass, um, it's not just a one size fits all. And I always tell people there's not too many things in life where one size fits all. So it's not just a matter of going to your pharmacy and collecting a mask, for example. The fit of the mask to your face becomes very important um, uh, if it's going to work, because you might have something on, you think it's working and it's not. The type of mask also becomes important. We know for the patient in this scenario, we give them a normal surgical type mask, a very mask. The N95 is one which is generally used uh, for healthcare workers. So what is my actual take on this to the public? It is very, very important that we stick to the most important thing involving the spread of this particular virus, and that is hand hygiene. If we get hand hygiene wrong, you could have a mask on and still be in trouble. Let me give you a classical example. There are people who walk around in masks and you see them on social media, you see them on television, you see them everywhere. And how do they take the mask off? So it's not just putting on a mask. I think the most important thing is to know when to take it off, when to change it, one. And then two, the other important point, how to take it off. Because if you take it off incorrectly, you get your hands contaminated, back of the hands again. And then you use that hand and you put it in your face and your eyes, and your mouth, and your nose, and we all know that you touch your hands and your mouth and your face so many times a day. And if you do that, then you contaminate yourself. So you can wear a mask quite safely, but if you don't know how to take it off, if it's the wrong fit, if, and if it's the wrong mask, then you're actually not protecting yourself. And I think the public needs to understand this particular aspect it becomes important. Generally, there are some indications for removal of a mask. So if your mask becomes soiled, it needs to be removed because that's not actually going to be helping you. It's going to make the situation worse. And certainly if you're wearing a mask for greater than four hours in an environment where there's a possibility of spread or there's spread or the, the, the insult is there, then you try to remove the mask um, um, within that time period. That becomes important.